Even if, like Jeff, you didn't experience the East Coast <laughs> earthquake, you may have felt the aftershocks online. Social media were overwhelmed with alerts, messages, and plenty of good jokes. Tuesday's 5.8 magnitude quake shook the East Coast and quickly sent folks across the country to social media sites like Facebook and Twitter. One of the first tweets came at 1.52 p.m. from NPR's Andy Carvin. Within an hour, though, phrases like DC quake and felt it were trending nationwide. With phone networks down or overloaded, the Internet became the best way for the government to share information. Others shared photos, videos, and once it was clear, damage wasn't widespread. Plenty of humor. Over 18,000 people checked into the event Earthquake Apocalypse on Foursquare, while Twitter was full of one-liners. Comedian Abby Crutchfield tweeted, Luckily, I was holding a bag of chicken cutlets filled with breadcrumbs. Over at the Washington Post, Ezra Klein couldn't resist noting, this is why the president shouldn't take vacations. And joining us now is Maggie Reardon, a senior writer for CNET.com. Maggie, good to have you with us here this morning. So why were places like Facebook and Twitter the places to go for something like this yesterday? Well, first of all, it's immediate. So um, when you look at regular media, um, it takes a little while to fact check and get the news out there. I mean, when I felt the quake, I actually went on Google to see what news story was on was up already and there was nothing but then I went to Facebook and Twitter and immediately it was like ah oh, it's an earthquake it's, it's not my crazy neighbor downstairs <laughs> <or> something <laughs> and, and it's funny uh, one report I was reading this morning talking about all this social networking and all the tweets that were sent yesterday said that you know they actually moved the, t the tweets moved faster than the seismic waves right, um, but that exactly. is that is really what you tend to see these days everybody goes to Twitter goes to Facebook to make this happen um, and also because they can get that information out where they couldn't get a phone call through. Yeah, exactly. The, the phone networks were jammed up all up and down the East Coast. And that's really because, you know, it wasn't an infrastructure issue. It was because everybody was trying to call somebody to say either I'm okay or, hey, did you feel that? And when the networks, the voice networks get jammed up, uh, the best thing to do is to text message or go to social media sites. And in fact, some of the, the, um, the first responder people were saying, FEMA and Homeland Security were saying, you know. Yeah, but well, they were actually using Twitter to get the get the message out. Uh, DHS said, you know, tell your friends and family you're okay via text, email, and social media. They tweeted that. Yeah. Also, there was some um, some lighter moments too when we figured out that this, this wasn't a part. this wasn't a, a massive life threatening earthquake. Uh, Sarah Atkinson here, uh, 5.9 question mark. That's what us Californians used to stir our coffee with. Uh, people literally were just running up and down the Twitterverse yesterday with basically just mocking the East Coast. Mocking the East Coast <laughs> to no end, but, but 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 very well. With some very funny some very funny observations. Yeah. Well, Joe Johnson, Joel Johnson, New Yorkers earthquakes are better because of our thinner crust. Um, this that is my, this is one of my personal. Yeah. favorites from uh, from Alexa here breaking news 5.8 earthquake has shook the East Coast dot 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 Justin Bieber unharmed <laughs> I mean I think we actually have that in our breaking news report here at CBS it's important to get that out you always want to know how Justin is doing and finally Andy Borowitz the earthquake is perfect My for favorite. Twitter nothing actually happened but everyone is talking about it anyway which is basically that pretty much sums it up encapsulates Twitter right there in a nutshell yeah. it's just uh, a lot but uh, I will say this that's how I, I figured out I, I did not feel it yesterday yeah I walked out of a building that I was in, and it was in Columbus Circle, and there's thousands of people on the street, and I'm like, what is going on? And that's how I was able to. So get Twitter's the it, once it again. Yeah, Twitter, Facebook, that's where I found out about it, too. So, I mean, a lot of people were updating their status, like, oh my gosh, I just felt something. And it was cool because you could see people in Buffalo, people in D.C., people in, you know, all over the place were feeling it. Yeah, and that was kind of the thing on Facebook yesterday. By the end of the night, it was like, all right, enough changing, you know, everything <laughs> to, to reflect earthquakes. <laughs> all right, mate, thanks so much. Thanks, Good to see you.